Different methods how to fire clay objects. The first method is the electric kiln. This is a way that you fire the um, pottery or clay objects by using a kiln that works with electricity. The glazes in this kind of firing also fires very bright and colorful because the clay objects get exposed to oxygen in the kiln. There are three ways that you can fire pottery in an electric kiln. The first one is the basic firing, then they call it the bisque firing. This kind of firing you do with most of your clay objects. Um, then you can fire it up to say about a thousand degrees Celsius. The second kind of firing that you do in the electrical kiln is the low temperature or earthenware glaze firing and that goes up to 1060. It goes up to 1060 degrees. Then the stoneware and porcelain glaze firing for stoneware, tableware and so on and porcelain items even up to 1300 degrees Celsius. The porcelain will definitely go higher than the stoneware so I would advise you can fire the um, stoneware say up to 1250 or that's actually a good temperature also and then you can f um, fire the porcelain even higher to 1300 degrees and then you you turn yeah you switch off the temperature you also can do um, fire your pottery or clay work you can also fire in a gas kiln uh, where, uh, where the kiln works with gas and so on and with this um, kind of firing you can make interesting um, patterns on your clay items by using a method when you put salt onto your pots as well and so on. Raku firing is also a way of firing. With this kind of firing, you don't need a um, kiln, so you can make a hole outside in the garden and put sawdust in. And you have to look that your pots are very dry, um, so it would be advisable to put your clay items that you want to um, raku fire in your oven at home for 190 degrees Celsius for about three hours to see that it's really dry before you fire it and then you can fire it inside a, a hole in the garden with sawdust um, with it and um, then you make a fire on it, top of it and you see that um, it's totally cooled down before you take the clay articles out. Some people that don't have a kiln or was not doing a rock of firing also just take their clay articles and they just um, keep it to dry and then maybe paint it with a, a, a special plaster paint or whatever or they just have a, a look and do an experiment to see how the clay article or object um, get one with nature again. So they leave it outside in the sun to dry and then they see how through the wind and through rain and so on it dissolves back into the earth again.